Okay, so this will be our final video for the particle systems chapter, and um, we'll do a final example here and uh, kind of review what's going on. Uh, so first off, let's uh, we have kind of three levels of uh, of organization. We have uh, our time list, we have our particle system, and then we have our mover. And uh, so we never refer to our mover inside of our time. Uh, we only refer to particle systems. And then that particle system manages all the movers. And uh, uh, the movers uh, are basically set up inside of an M list. And we can pass, we can fill this M list with anything that has the same functionality as a mover. So uh, we we put uh, half the time we're putting movers in, half the time we're putting confetti objects in, and we can do that because confetti is of a type mover and has the same functionality. So uh, basically, wherever we say m dot apply force, uh, uh, we just need to have whatever's inside this uh, m list needs to be able to respond to this function. And uh, it goes, you know, goes on down uh, for all the other functions. So let's look. And um, what I want to do is I want to uh, have all of our movers attracted to some something. So we're going to use. Uh, I'm inside of the class mover right now. The class mover has the function gravity attract to self dot or self other mover and uh, so to be able to call this we have to look, si look inside we have to create another function inside of our particle system because our particle system manages our movers so I'm going to put it right here by apply force I'm going to say def and I'm just going to paste that in gravity attract to self and then uh, other mover so what are we doing here? We want to do like we do with our force 4m in self m list dot apply force, except we don't want to apply force. We want to say gravity attract to. So 4m in self dot m list uh, m dot uh, gravity attract to other mover. Okay, so now uh, it should be able. We should be able to call this uh, for our particle system. So let's go down here and look. And right here we have our particle system uh, inside of our particle system list. And uh, we want to say particle system dot gravity attract to we don't need this self here and then uh, other mover so I'm gonna say I'm gonna call it a mover for attractor mover and uh, so now we just need to create this so we can pass it in and we're gonna do that outside of our time list so a mover equals mover and uh, if you don't remember what to put inside the mover, uh, go and check up, up with the, the mover, but it's position, acceleration, or position, velocity, acceleration, and mass. So for our position, I'm going to pass in a variable called a, a po position, a position, a pos, <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, a position right here. And uh, we're going to define that inside of Grasshopper. And uh, <laughs> our initial velocity is going to be 0, 0, 0. Our initial acceleration is going to be 0, 0, 0. Our mass, we can throw in a, a large mass, so uh, of 30. But uh, if you forgot what to do there, just go up and look inside of our mover 
and it, so position, velocity, acceleration, and mass. Okay, so that creates our A mover, and then we're attracting to A mover. Okay. So now we need to uh, define A mover or A position. We're going to do that with a point, and we're also going to uh, cast it as a as a vector. Okay, so now it's running, and I'm going to pause it. Well, okay, so Okay, so um, what's going on here? We have our uh, mover, our attractor right there. And uh, so for each mover inside of our um, uh, particle system, it's being attracted to uh, this mover. So you can see some are flying kind of all over the place, and uh, I th think that's because of our check edges. They might be bouncing off the wall, or they might have a really strong uh, initial velocity. Uh, let's go in and test. Let's take out uh, initial velocity and see what happens. And we do that inside uh, we create movers inside of our particle system so if we add a mover oh, I guess we have uh, the initial velocity is small uh, and the initial acceleration um, I want to just try this really quick see what happens Okay, so so our uh, this is doing what it you know what we want it to do. It's being attracted to uh, the mover. And then if we also, if we want to go back in and apply gravity to it, so it's being attracted here, but it would also be, uh, have the gravity towards the bottom applied to it, we would just need to, you know, put this back in. So uh, gravity attract 2, that's affecting the acceleration. Apply force, that is uh, also affecting the acceleration. And then... Uh, PS update is taking that acceleration and adding it to the velocity or you know uh, changing the velocity and then it, the velocity is changing the position so let's try this okay so now it's going it's aiming towards all of our movers are aiming towards the attractor but they're also being affected by gravity
and I'm going to take this out. Just I just wanted to try that, and I want to go back in, and I want to. Uh, give it uh, an uh, initial acceleration. I'm going to um, have it be smaller though. Okay, so I think this example is a really good place to uh, leave off. Uh, with our particle systems chapter and uh, uh, we'll be doing more with this setup in chapter 6. Chapter 5 is um, external libraries so I'm going to look at uh, kangaroo uh, a little bit and uh, try to just think up some uh, some original examples inside of kangaroo to play around with.